Take your pick. Consolidation Loan Special, January 2nd to January 31st. Call 930-1400 or apply online at hfsfcu.org. Aloha. We're here with Mike Ruggles. I understand you have a court hearing tomorrow morning at 9.30 in the Hilo Circuit Court. Can you tell us what's going to happen tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow it's on the third floor in the last courtroom, and it's just going to be a quick 15-minute hearing. Uh, what happened was the judge vacated my trial. It was supposed to go off on uh, the 16th of January, and he vacated that because he uh, needed to rule on some exhibits and some still outstanding motions. And this is a trial on what, marijuana? Yeah, or? It's a, uh, I had a collective of over 100 patients, and we were all uh, helping each other acquire medicine, we felt, legally, and the only legal way you can obtain medicine at that time and still on the Big Island. And so we'd love for everybody to come on down and show their support. Basically what's going on is they're trying to say that it was illegal for patients to get together and help each other, even though the law clearly states distribution and transfer in the law. And they're trying to say that patients can't transfer amongst themselves, even though there's no other way to do it. It's a Big Island Now's understanding that you were arrested shortly before the state law for dispensaries were put into place. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah, they arrested me in September of 2015. And how the collective started was the change in law where it used to say distribution was only protected between patient and caregiver. The Stat Act 178, which is the same one that gave us dispensaries, that came into that went into effect January 2nd, 2015, and that was when our collective opened, because uh, everybody, all the over 100 members, were trying to follow the law. That's the whole reason patients uh, go to the doctor and pay the state in order to do it. And so now the state's trying to say that even though the law clearly says transfer and distribution straight in at 329121, they're trying to say what we were doing was illegal. And they're trying to give me three lives plus 32 years for helping patients do this. So that's technically almost a life sentence for you. Right. It's three lives plus 32. So right now they, they consolidated the charges, but the original charges were over 33 felonies. And what happened was they'd sent in an undercover. He tried to uh, obtain medicine, and we sent him away. We told him, no, you got to get a license. He went to the doctor, got a license, came back, and then they busted me because they considered what we were doing was illegal, even though he went and got a real license. And so we're pointing out that currently, even Russell Ruderman says in his post that he currently recommends that people use the black market rather than the medical cannabis program because you actually have less rights right now as a medical cannabis patient than you would if you were just doing it illegally. And so what do you think is going to be the outcome of tomorrow's hearing? Well, you know, it's a good question. There's a lot of uh, different motions at hand. I believe that he will rule on some, I'm hoping he rules on some exhibits, gives us a chance to uh, bring forth witnesses to use the exhibits on. Like basically I had a bunch of police exhibits and now to suppress the evidence because what they did was um, they took the cards out of these jars different uh, patients had different jars of medicine excess medicine that they had down here inside each jar was a card that said to dispose of according to the rules which is 23-200-20 anyway the cops apparently they were afraid that that would make the transfer legal so they took these cards out and threw them on the ground and so I'm trying to get their own police photos admitted as evidence to show that they tampered with the evidence and the prosecution's fighting me on it. And so hopefully the judge is going to rule in my favor, rule that the evidence is, their evidence is actually relevant and that I'll be able to show that they indeed tampered with the evidence. In addition to that, they, they went on my neighbor's, in fact, if you pan over here and show that greenhouse, they, they went on my neighbor's property. See the fence there in the greenhouse? They went on my neighbor's property through that trail right there, took his cannabis, and charged me with it. I went and got a, uh, a survey done. I went in $1,500. I had a uh, property survey done, and they won't allow it. The prosecutor's fighting it. He won't allow it in the evidence. And so I'm just showing. These are some of the many 
problems they have with their case and then we've been fighting for two and a half years all right thank you very much this is big island now reporting from mike ruggles house have a great day